Hey everybody, what's up? Brother John here. Welcome to Third Proverb. Do you remember the um, movie Toy Story? And that little robot guy, I forgot his name, right? And he started that popular say saying, To infinity and beyond! Well, that's exactly what Ben Bernanke has done here with QE3. And... Um, Forty billion dollars a month they're going to print up indefinitely to infinity and beyond. The only difference is here, um, as opposed to the movie, um, the helicopter Ben Bernanke is um, driving and throwing all that money from is going to crash. Yeah. Uh, as the economy goes. So they print up all this money, going to prop up the stock market because you're going to need more dollars to um, make these shares look good, right? And um, it's simple fundamentals. I mean, I understand. You just print up money that's backed up by nothing. It becomes uh, worth less. <laughs> <laughs> you already see the gas prices going up because it takes more dollars to get barrels of oil. Therefore, the price goes up because it takes more dollars. And as the price goes up for a barrel of oil, gas prices go up. And as gas prices go up, it costs more to ship these goods, right? And the food and all that other good stuff. So those prices go up. So you have inflation. Yes. And uh, people's salaries are not keeping up with inflation. Companies can just not give people raises, especially when their expenses are going up because of gas prices. And the only way they can probably give people a raise is if they raise their prices of their goods and services. So it becomes a spiraling down effect to the crash. This is how it works. To me, it's common sense, and most people just don't get it. I do not understand. And um, we're going to see commodities go up because people uh, we are going to realize it's that's real money. And... Um, so they'll prop up the dollar for a bit, you know. We I think we're gonna see, you know, our price the commodities been going up, gold and silver's been going up, right? Up and up for the last week or two. Um I think we're gonna get a little pullback, uh, because of all this dollar printing and this prop up and this illusion and we're gonna get a little pullback and I think uh, for those who have uh, been waiting to buy That'll be a time to buy. Or even buy now, really, because, I mean, silver especially, we all know, is undervalued. Undervalued. Uh, if we go into historical ratios of uh, gold to silver, I think it's like 15 to 1, uh, silver should really be about $125, $130 an ounce right now. It should be. Uh, but with all the manipulation, all that other good stuff. But it can't last forever. So, um... Thank you, Ben Bernanke. Uh, and uh, I don't know. See, the only way you're going to keep up inflation is get the commodities. Sure, the prices are going up, and everything else is going to be going up, but that's the only way you're going to have a hold on inflation is by having real money because salaries are not keeping up, and your bank is not paying you. Uh, they're paying you gots, like 1%, right, if you're lucky. If you're lucky, maybe 2% on a CD that you have to keep in there for five years. Come on. It's crazy. It's worthless paper. And, you know, of course, they're going you know, to try to... Um, they're also going to try to create this um, housing bubble again. They, the feds have guaranteed rates to be low as already through 2013. And he's looking to go to 2015 now. So, uh, trying to prop up the housing market. Problem there is that uh, people cannot get loans now. Banks are not giving out the loans. And 
they can't get the money to even get the houses. Uh, never mind, but most people can't even have the down payment. So how that's all going to work? Trying to prop up the housing market and start this bubble all over again? I don't know. But sooner or later, they're going to have to bring up interest rates. And uh, if he's guaranteed in 2015, then maybe we're not going to see a rate increase till you know 2016. Um, but when that happens, interest rates, you know, if they're going to prop them up half a percent, your interest rates on your loans are going to go up, your mortgage rates are going to go up. And then um, at that point, housing prices will have to decline even further than they are now. It's inevitable. So, you know, I think the right plan to have, stock up on that food, of course. Stock up on your water, of course, because they're just going up in price. And if there's a crash, if and when, I think it's just a matter of when, not if. Um, you'll be at least ahead a little bit on the inflationary curve there. But, I mean, if you have gold and silver, and I just see the prices just eventually going up and up and up, and houses pricing come down, um, you know, you can put yourself in a position to buy a home outright using your metals cash them in and buy that house outright that's just one way of looking at it all right uh i'm done and thank you ben uh for <laughs> making predictions of people like peter schiff and greg manorino and jay snip and money bags these are people you should be subscribed to Thanks, Ben, for uh, having all their predictions come true. And um, thank you for that multiple percentage gain in commodities. Okay. <laughs> so, everybody, get your guns, get your gold, get your groceries, and um, be prepared. Peace out.